uh, we're gonna try it on normal mode this time and see how we do. Since most people wash their hands, and I kind of want to try and uh, beat it on the harder difficulty so that I can get the next mode. Sort of whisper cough will do. Hmm. We'll do Moto Moto. Can we do Moto Moto Flu? Will I have enough room? Nope. If I do it this way, Moto Moto Flu. Perfect. Okay, let's see how it goes on normal mode. Let's start in. Let's start in China this time. Moto Moto Flu begins. All right, let's fast forward it. I'm gonna try the same strategy as before where I just kind of infect as many people as quickly as possible and then once everybody's infected then I um, start making it really bad. Okay, so we got 13 points. I don't think picking the things that are gonna make it mutate are the best way to go. So I wonder if we can make like a cough. Well, maybe we'll start it like the last time. Cough and a sneeze. Just get that in the uh, that infection rate increased. I'm noticing that it doesn't go up quite as fast as it does in uh, casual mode. Oh, we got lots more points here. All right, symptoms, abilities. Urban areas, livestock. We gotta get it in the air. The air and the water, I think. Oh, we got lots of points coming in. Air and in the water. Human environments and ship transportation. So we can get it in the water. Pneumonia. Rash. Nausea. Insomnia. What's the next one over here? Fever? Fever needs 11 points. Let's give it a second. We could probably get it with... Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a kissing parade. So let's see. What's the one that spreads with kissing? Rash. Oh, here we go. Nausea. Affecting more countries. I saw it go to Saudi Arabia. And Russia. Abilities. We're going to give it some heat and cold resist. So that it could survive in most of the places on the planet. Oh, I missed that one down there in Australia. 
Oh, there it goes. I see it in Australia, and there's that red boat right there going all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. There it goes. It's in Mexico right now. All right, so now we got to figure out the transmission again. Maybe we'll upgrade water. Russia. A new minor disease spreading. All right, just landed in the United States. Get it in the air some more. I don't want to increase the symptoms just yet. What's next here? Vomiting? I feel like once it gets bad enough to where people are throwing up, then it's probably not the best. Let's do this bacteria resilience. Oh yeah, look at that. Right there in the in Eastern Europe, it's really spreading right here outside of China. Immune suppression symptom is mutated. Uh oh. That's what this is when people are going to start treating it. Oh, Africa's got it. More infections. Common cold. Okay, yeah, we got lots of disease points going. So it has immune suppression. Oh, I didn't. I completely skipped the mosquitoes. I don't know if this livestock one is even worth investing in. We'll do the extreme bio aerosol. It leaves us with 12 points. Cold resist 2 is not quite there yet. All right, it's looking like we have it in just about all the regions of the world. So it's mutated. All right, we have tons of points. Symptoms. I want to give it... Cold resist, heat resist. Probably this first drug resistant, because I have a feeling they're going to start treating this thing here soon. Harder to analyze in the lab, decreasing future research speed. Probably this right now, and then we'll just wait for the more infections to happen. Like right now, see how we're getting all these points everywhere. India shuts down ports, it's fine, they're already all infected anyway. Oh yeah, see, we got tons of things now. So now what we can do is rodent. I'll probably do this one, the mice. It hasn't infected, uh, it hasn't mutated anything. Oh, it has a, a mutated pneumonia. Total organ failure. I'm not sure if I want to just go straight into fatal stuff just yet. We'll give it just a little bit longer before it gets that bad. Let's do bacterial resilience, or should I go for this one? Hardened coating becoming highly weather resistant and extremely comfortable in both hot and cold environments. Should I just do this one? I feel like this is the same thing, but cheaper. Because South America is still not really infected. France is leading the efforts in curing it. Motomoto -moto flu is killing very fast. Ooh. All right, well, if they're, they're dying, then we might as well start up in the... Open the lethality a little bit here, I think.
pulmonary edema. Heart abnormality causing breakdown of respiratory system releasing pathogen into the air. Probably coma. And then we should probably start doing that one next. Okay. Killed more than the Black Death already. Holy cow, I barely even put anything into the... Uh, Transmission symptoms. We gotta work on this. Symptoms. Systemic infection. My paralysis. All right, let's see how it goes here. Turkeys and anarchy, so we'll see how Europe survives here. Okay, we need to work on the ones that slow down the research. Where is it? Hypersensitivity. Isn't coma the one that makes it significantly harder to cure? Insomnia, paranoia, hmm. genetic reshuffle. I might have to do that because they're starting to work on the cure. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, geez. Is Europe? Oh, they shut it down in France way too soon. I can't do anything. But United States and North America are slowly starting to die. Oh yeah, look down there too. New Zealand survived. So I probably waited just a tiny bit too late before I started making it lethal because France managed to to make it out before it got too bad. So they were able to shut off their ports before any more people that were infected really got there. I'm not really sure there's much I can do, much left I can do at least. Seizures. I feel like I, I, skipping this systemic infection one was probably the worst thing I could have done. So France bombs the city that are infected. Also, it's kind of like Resident Evil. That's exactly what happened in the game.
Oh yeah, see, I'm only I only have only a few infected people. What if twenty six points? I don't think I have enough points for that. Let's devolve it from this. We get two DNA points from that. Let's devolve pneumonia. Maybe devolve paranoia and then spend it on systemic infection. That was a last ditch hoorah, see if it does anything. Well, it's not looking like it. I'm not going to hit the 7 billion mark. I'm about 30 million people short. One. Oh well. 